looking good, looking good. What's happening, everybody? It's Saturday Sessions. My goodness. So, I wanted to show you guys, a lot of times we do this before. Um, my hair, I didn't even, I didn't even, do I have a hat? I've got nothing. I just woke up. I have not even prepped. <laughs> no idea what we're going to paint. I figured we'd do like a little moon waterfall scene on this little 24, uh, 12 by 24 inch canvas. I've got bed head still. <laughs> I didn't even think about grabbing a hat or anything. So, it's just so funny. Nobody even, you know. You guys didn't tell me what my hair looked like before the show. So, this is gonna, how it's gonna rock and roll. It's all good. We're not worried about my hair anyway. We're worried about what the painting looks like. So, as I was saying before, before I got distracted by my bed head, we, uh, we have to put liquid clear on our canvas to make sure it's nice and wet before we start to paint. And normally I do this before the show starts, but a lot of people go, how did you get your canvas wet? How did you put the colors on? So I like to show you how we do it. Now we took our Bob Ross liquid clear, right? Covered our entire canvas so it's nice and slick and wet, ready to go. And then what we're gonna do is wash off our brush and throw some colors on there. So, try to get our brush in there, get it all off onto here. Beat the devil out of it into the bucket. And then dab it off on a paper towel, it comes out nice and clean. Very simple, very easy little thing to do, right? Now, we're gonna take a few of our colors and get them on our black canvas to start. So, I'm gonna grab a different brush, whoop, <laughs> or let it go, have it fall over. You guys are gonna tell me where you're watching from, what's your favorite sandwich, and we're gonna get started right here. Let's get a little of our crimson and a little of our red. Ooh, gotta mix them together though. Otherwise that red is like so, so, so bright on the canvas, right? Come up here and who knows, maybe we had a little bit of reddish glow in our canvas back here and maybe down here, just everywhere. It doesn't matter, all in the middle. And then we'll spread it to the sides. All right, so we're gonna start out, just gonna drop it in like that. We're gonna start pushing it back and forth, all the way out, spreading it all the way to the edges. You don't wanna have any bit of dry black canvas, right? You got to have it at least covered up a little bit with some color. Just a little bit. And it will remain very dark, right? Even though we put the color on there, when you're spreading it out very thin, right? Taking it like a broom and just pushing it to the edges, right? We're sitting here, we're brooming. We're sweeping out. Gonna sweep out the old junk, right? Little spring clean in action. Sweep it out. That's all you're doing, right? Just sweeping it, pushing it very, very thinly spreading it. And that way, it's not super bright everywhere, but there is color under the canvas. And once there's color underneath it, as soon as we hit it with our white paint that we're gonna paint with, then all these colors will shine through and just turn out gorgeous. So maybe we'll do like a little seascape down here at the bottom too, why not? A Little bit more of our red and crimson, just because I wanna have a few little brighter areas and a few little darker areas if we're gonna do like a moon maybe a far off waterfall into like a seascape down at the bottom. Oh, I can just see it. I can see it. And that's what happens on Paint With Josh, right? We, we have a plan initially and then we go, hmm, it might actually look cool if this happened or if we change this or if we added this. And that's all about what it is about Paint With Josh, right? All about it. We gotta change, we gotta do different stuff. And you don't have to follow the tutorial exactly the way that I'm doing it, right? If you see something when you're doing yours, and all of a sudden you decide to go a different way, that's gonna be awesome. Yours is gonna turn out fantastic and it's gonna be gorgeous. That's the best part about art. All right, we can all use the same colors, use the same sort of idea and end up with a completely different result. And that's the best part about it to me. So I'm gonna finish my sides just like we do the edges. Just like we did the front, we gotta do it on the edge. Bang, get a little of our red and crimsony color and just mix it down the sides and that way we'll be able to have our seam kind of roll across and wrap around the edge it makes it look really cool especially on these big thick pro series canvases right now ready to go let's wash our brush off you guys are going to tell me where you're watching from what's your favorite sandwich make sure you hit that like button if you're watching on youtube make sure if you're watching on facebook you're tapping the screen tap 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 all those emojis and of course on on uh, tiktok you got to be tapping the screen you got to share it live to all your friends share it to your 10 best friends Send it out, help me get the word out. And let's get some people in here in this rock and roll this morning. It's gonna be fantastic. Man, I'm already out of breath. Mm. So guys, remember you're gonna be able to name this painting. Whew! 
You're gonna be able to name this painting and you're gonna be able to buy this painting before anybody else can even get to it if you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And then we're gonna grab our fan brush and we're gonna grab our cake pan. The Paint With Josh custom cake pan. All right, we're gonna put it right up here and get a little bit of white, stick it right there and go. So you can have a, a little paper bowl or a paper plate, uh, some sort of something that you don't mind getting a little bit of paint on and throwing away. I grabbed this little cake pan from, well, I think London got it from like a Dollar General as we were using it for her, her candles and stuff. And then I ended up getting paint on this one and then I ended up keeping it. So yeah, just get a little cake pan or a bowl or something, a little bit of white onto our brush. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna paint this gorgeous bit of a moon. Actually, let's put it off the canvas over here. Oh yeah, now we'll have room for some sky and stuff very lightly going around the edge so lightly with the same amount of pressure don't push hard on one side and not on the other it's got to be the same amount of pressure all the way around that way you keep your line nice and even right. Ooh, maybe we could do a portal guys should we do a portal with this painting or should we do a moon you guys tell me in the comments all right just like that bam we can either do a portal or we can do a moon right and that portal is basically you imagine this as the sun and then the moon comes across it as an eclipse and all of a sudden this portal opens up into another world way back off in the distance and you get to see two different scenes in the same scene. But you guys gotta tell me what you wanna see. Ooh, we got a lot of people on TikTok wanna see a portal. We got some people saying a big moon. We got moons over here on Facebook. So it's almost like moon on Facebook versus portal on TikTok. Portal over here on YouTube. You guys wanna see some cool stuff. Moon with craters, moon, moon, portal, moon. You guys are just, I don't know, I don't know. I see a lot more portals. Then I see moon. So let's do a portal painting, guys. Let's take our moon. We're going to put it back up here exactly where we had it. And now what we're going to do is take the same brush. Hadn't added any extra paint, but we're going to start to pull from here very lightly. And what it does is give you this little effect that there's an eclipse happening, right? Our moon has come across our sun and it's casted this shadow among, down upon the land where we are, right? But also, the prophecy has been fulfilled and a portal opens up inside the moon into a different world. That's what we got to tell ourselves anyway. I love telling myself little stories while I'm painting, right? Got to make up little stories and stuff. It makes it more fun. So don't pull it out all the same. Don't pull it out all in the same, you know, length. Put a couple little brighter areas in there. Little bits of like, just little bits flying off out into the solar system. Awesome. Right? You decide how big you want it to be, how bright you want it to be, a little bit more white paint, a little bit more streakage, and just have it like a, like a clock. That's how I treat it. Treat it like a clock, let it blend out, and then we're going to take our bigger brush and we're going to stretch it. Right? Ready? Ready for the reveal? One, two, boom! Look at that eclipse, guys. That is just fantastic, right? And then you don't have to put anything on the inside like me, right? Like I said, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do whatever you don't want to do. We're just gonna finish our little bit around the edge, just like that, and then throw a little bit of our aura off the side, just for the buyer. Only the buyer is gonna see the stuff on the sides over here, right? I just hit myself in the bridge of the nose with the thing. I came down like this, went right on the bridge of my nose. Right on the bridge. Okay, guys, now we're gonna take our one-inch brush. This is a brand new one-inch brush. I don't think, I've, I don't think I should probably use this. It's so nice and pretty, right? We're gonna come in here and just around the edges, start to soften it by pulling it down just like a clock though. You gotta spread those minutes out, right? Take them out, minute hand, hour hand, just like a clock would be, all the way around the sides. So I can make them softer and softer. And you see how this aura is starting to grow around it? You get that light color that blends in with all that dark red that we put on the canvas. Woo, guys. This one's neat. Oh, it even wraps around with the moon. Ah, oh, so cool. So cool. And the more that you pull it, the darker it's going to be, right? Be very careful. You don't have to be as fast as old paint with Josh, right? I'm trying to keep you guys interested. Just a little bit, just like that. <clears throat> very, very cool. Now, if we we're going to do a portal in here, I don't want to cover up our bit too much. So why don't we come in with a little bit of a, you know what? Oh, guys, oh, guys, we could do lots of stuff back from this vantage point, right? And this is the, the cool thing about painting with Josh is you never, 
you never know where it's going to go. Are we going to do, you know, should we do our original idea of having a seascape or put a waterfall in front of it? Or don't put anything inside the moon? Should we just put a tree over the front? Like there's so many different ways you can go from this place right here, which is why I always say it never has to look exactly the same as mine. You can always do your own thing, go your own way. So let's check out the comments. What do you guys want to see? Let's see, let's see. Let's see, it sounds like the Joker. I do, I get that a lot. I sound like the Joker. I sound like, uh, like Ryan Reynolds. I sound like Bill Hader, apparently. Let's see, let the waterfall that falls into a seascape like on an island. Uh, my grandpa is not well. Um, we're gonna go see him. I saw that question over there on TikTok. Uh, I'll probably be buying tickets after the show and then tomorrow Bailey and I are gonna go up and uh, probably say our goodbyes. It's, um, I'm not looking forward to it. It's, uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing him, definitely. Um, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. But we're gonna go tomorrow. Uh, Hopefully the tickets are still available and uh, yeah. So let's decide, let's just rock and roll. Let's not make any choices. Let's just go with whatever my gut feels like, right? So we're gonna grab a little bit of white right here. We're gonna put our little moon right up there. Boom, I'm gonna spin our brush around like this in a little circle, just pushing it flat against the canvas. And all of a sudden you get this gorgeous little circle. Bam, look, it's even got like a little hole in the middle. I to cover that guy in. That shows you how hard we're pushing on it, right? You're pushing on it so hard that it, it bored a hole in the middle of the paint. And you have to do that because you have to spread those bristles out all the way so they'll rotate around. Very cool. Now let's take a little bit of our white on our brush. If we come up in here inside of our portal, oh, we get a couple little clouds, little bits of stuff happening. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Right, come back with our brush, mix it down. All you gotta do little bit of pressure, right? Our three P's of paint with Josh. Our paint, our pressure, and our practice, right? If you don't ever practice, how can you expect to be good at it, right? That's why our, our third P is almost the most important P, and that's practice. Let's see, we're gonna come up here. Little bit of mixage, a little less pressure. We keep them a little brighter, right? And the more you mix, the darker they become. So, very cool little things you can do and put them inside of a moon portal painting and just have it look amazing. It's gonna be fantastic. So let's see, what do we do from here? Somebody said a waterfall into a seascape would be kind of cool, but yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, let's do, all right, let's get a little smaller brush. Let's get a little smaller brush. Remember guys, you can buy this painting at paintwithjosh.etsy.com. It's painting number 788, which is a lot, if you ask me. Let's say our little, our little bit came back from way back here. Yeah, a little river, very flat, very thin little line. You don't want it to be too thick. It's gotta stay thin way back here, right? So it's coming up, maybe it turns. Very thin again, getting wider, getting wider. Maybe it came back this way. Maybe it turned again. All sorts of little things your little river can do, right? And if you leave little spaces in between, it'll be really cool. I'm gonna take our one inch brush just very softly, pulling it side to side, stretching it. It's a little wider up here because we use a little bit more paint, a little bit more pressure, right? We're stretching it, stretching it, stretching it, and then we get to the end and it'll fall outside. Ooh, that'll be cool. So let's come back in, get a little white and a little crimson on our brush. Just a little bit so you get this bright pink color. Come back in here and start popping in just a couple little bits of grass. Some little bits of something to hide our bit of river back in there as it comes around and comes down in here. We don't even need the whole bit. Don't even need the whole bit of river. All right, come in like that, very lightly, swiping it across. Now, that's gonna be better. We're coming around, round, round, popping it right off. So, let's come over here, get a little bit darker crimson onto our brush, maybe a little bit of our red as well. We've only used three colors so far. Pop in a little bit right in there. A little bit darker red, darker crimson, a little bit of our white right on the top. Maybe we can get a couple little bits of like, just little details, little flowery bits back there that show you a little difference, right? Use the other corner of the brush and the other end. Little things that stick out and help our river start leading its way towards us. Don't want to have too much, right? A little bit more of that darker red color. 
hide a little bit of your water because you don't have to see every single bit. I want to see every single bit. Let's get a couple little more dabs of our white onto the brush and then pop in a couple little bit of white right in here, right? All you need, little layers, 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 layers. All you got to do, build it down, build it down, right? Okay, now we're going to take our brush, a little bit bigger brush, right? We're in here with our river. It's coming out. It's back there. We'll probably put in one more little bit of grass back in there. Right, we're going to start to feed it out out of our portal and you're like oh no where's it going right it starts to become 3d it starts to become 3d and then we get out here and it go it's gonna fall right out right out into very light 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 pressure right and then we can throw it back into another cloud back here or something very small little bit of pressure that you don't need a whole lot more pressure means it's going to drop more paint which is going to be harder to blend away it's not going to look as soft it's not going to be as cool right a little bit of pressure right here just to soften it down, it helps it turn pink, helps it blend in with all those other colors that are out there. Very neat. Very cool. Very cool little thing, guys. So, why don't we get a little bit, we'll get our black and our crimson together now. So you have this like deep, darkish, kind of purpley bit onto our brush. Maybe back over here on the edge of our guy, kind of hiding our river as it's coming up. And our river. Needs a little bit of like, needs a few little bits of brightness back here. Just a little, there we go. A couple little details that help it feed its way towards us, right? Just a little, couple little swipes of, of brightness. And that's literally it. Now we'll take that other bit of color back in here. That black and crimsony color. Come up along the side. Boom. Get our very cool little piece. Everything's starting to come out of our portal. And pushing more layers back, right? Very neat. Very, very neat, guys. It's all about doing the layers back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. There's still a lot of dark on that brush. Gotta come clean. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, the person that asked about my grandpa earlier, uh, he has stage three non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and he's not uh, doing very well, so. You know, I try not to talk about it too much, but um, yeah, we're gonna be headed up there probably tomorrow, and then it's just gonna be a quick um, same day kind of thing, and go see him, and then come back and and uh, yeah, try to carry on, try to carry on. A little bit more here. There we go. I'm gonna feed out. Not so long. A little bit, a little bit of waterfall out there, and then we can always adjust it and go back and decide. You know, how much, how much pressure. Dang, very cool. Very neat little thing. Now, down in here, right, our new little bit of a scene has to have a couple little clouds off in the distance, I would imagine. I would imagine, right? I never like it to be just a just perfect straight line. So, make it a little crazy, just like that. And what we'll do is get a little bit more bright white right on the edge of the, the side of our brush right here. See if we can't add just, oh yeah, right there. A couple little highlights right over the edge, right where it's falling, right? You get those little streaks of white as they're coming down. It looks very cool. Then we always gotta take our little bit of white, slide it backwards. That helps it lead up to the edge and fall over. Very, very neat, you guys. You guys, bang, right there. Right, so you have that little bit of white and you feed that guy back. It's like the water's just coming out. It's gonna fall over the edge down into our little bit of our cloud back here. Very lightly though, you don't want to have too much. You have too much pressure, you have too much of your paint up here. If your waterfall gets too big, it just starts looking weird. Right? Very lightly pulling it down so it doesn't even touch the clouds down here, right? And then, we come in, make our clouds a little bit more bright, adding a little bit of depth, but leaving that darker color behind there, right? That deeper, darker mist way back in there. Very cool. Same thing, take our brush, very lightly, start mixing it down. Small little things, right? Very light little pressure. Because that white really wants to grow on our canvas, it wants to blend in with all these other colors. Look at that, the more you do, the more you do, right? A little bit, blending back and forth. You get these soft little bits of clouds that are falling down. You get this river coming out of our portal. Guys, this looks awesome. So remember, Go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can buy this painting before we even finish it. And 
you can start uh, to think about names for this painting. If you want to name it, add a little bit of brightness back underneath our bushes right here. Keep them trapped inside of our portal. If you want to name this painting, you got the best name in the, in the group, then your name gets chosen and you get to say, hey, I named that Paint with Josh painting right there and uh, turned out really cool. Right, let's add a little bit more red in here. A little bit more reddish crimsony. Take that bright color away. There we go, perfect. And I almost want it to look like, is it the waterfall coming down or is it our, our aura from our, our bit of thing? I want you to be confused. You know what I mean? Have that little bit of, of wonder. Like I wonder what's going on right there. Like we're falling out, it's all blending in. Very cool, very cool you guys. All right, now here comes the fun part because Josh loves doing seascapes. And so when somebody mentioned doing this as a seascape, I was like, <laughs> Excellent idea, excellent idea. So let's clean off some brushes. You guys are gonna tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? What you had for breakfast this morning? What are you gonna have for lunch today? What you got planned for dinner? What are you gonna eat later? And where are you watching from? I love knowing where everybody is in the world, right? We got people from all over the US, all over the Philippines, the UK, everywhere, man. Australia, Germany, Italy, Israel, we got people watching from everywhere all the time, and I love that everybody tunes in to check out the old Paint with Josh show, right? The old Paint with Josh show. So tell me where you're watching from, and uh, I'm gonna come back there and give you guys some shout outs. We're gonna start talking about the three P's of painting. So I hope you've been paying attention, because now, now it's time for the quiz. We're gonna quiz you on all the things I've just been telling you. So if you have been paying attention throughout the show, the quiz is coming, and if you answer the questions correctly, then you're gonna get a shout out. And I'll tell everybody to go follow your page over on TikTok or wherever. So, let's see. Perfect. Perfection. Whoop. All right, where are you guys watching from? Let me see, let me see, guys. We got people from Greece, Texas, UK. Man, Australia, see I told you, guys watching from everywhere. Good morning, watching from Texas over on YouTube from Renee. Mark Anderson says put a moon in. I guess we missed that comment. We put a portal in instead. Jamaica, Ohio, LA, Washington, Kansas, London, uh, from Sweden, Maryland. Was that Jamaica? Man, we got Michigan, South Carolina. My goodness, Florida, Louisiana. 2 a.m. over there, just, I don't even know where they are. <laughs> Crazy, New Jersey, Syracuse. What do you guys think of this painting? Is it just fantastic or what? Or what is the question? Now, let's take a small little bit. We need a tiny little, there we go. We need a small fan brush, right? Because these smaller fan brushes, they have better flickability for stars. You want it to be very firm, and even that one's not as flickable as I want. Ah, there's my flicky one. It's very very firm and it shoots the stars right out onto our canvas and that's what we need right so we're gonna come back here you know what we could even do let's take a little bit more cloudage up into there just because it looks a little empty a little empty so take a little bit more cloud mix it in bring it down oh yeah look at so oh, yeah look at that a little bit softer all right and the more you mix softer it becomes very cool very cool little bit out there now as i was saying we're gonna get a little of our liquid white Get a little liquid white. All right, you gotta smush it out of the brush. You don't want a whole lot in there. All right, if you have too much, then you're gonna shoot out giant globs onto the canvas, right? And that's not, that's not what you want. You want little teeny sparkles. So we're gonna come out here and just very lightly flick around the side, right out there into our space. Oh, just little teeny tiny guys, right? Do it around the edge over here because I love finishing the canvas. Right? When the, the buyer goes and looks, they're going to be like, holy cow, he even put stars around the side, right? And of course, our little portal painting needs some stars in there, out in the, the, the sky. Oh, guys, it's just so great, right? We've got our stars out here, so let's put a few more. Bang, right here. we got stars everywhere. I always got to cut in front of you guys real quick. Got to finish the edge. And that way, we'll have this beautiful galactic sky all the way around the canvas. Very cool. Remember, you want a little, a little fan brush. They've got more, or better flickability. As one of the fans said on TikTok, I think it was Kay, Kay Jones, right? Look, you gotta be able to like, 
It's really got to want to pop back and shoot that paint right out. That's what you want to have. Little, little brush works better in my opinion. Bigger brushes, they just don't have that flickiness. It just doesn't shoot out as much. So let's, we don't even need a big brush for this. Let's get a smaller brush. There we go. I've got like 14 different fan brushes rocking at one time that are all just laying on my table. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, just like this, pulling it all the way out. See, I'm stretching it because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull it off of the brush, right? We loaded it and then I'm pulling it down here to try to pull it off of the brush so it's not too much on there. And then maybe we came back and way off in the distance back here, there was our, ooh, it's gonna be even higher. Give us more room, that'll be cool. Right there, try to make a little straight line and then let's put our little bit of, whoop, move my, there we go. The little straight line back there is all you need to make a seascape out of, right? Now from here, we're gonna pull it to the side very lightly because you don't have to have a lot of paint over there. And go over to here, right? Now you can see the brush is starting to split instantly. It's getting all, it's starting to come apart, which is gonna make it harder to paint, right? So why don't we go back in, we'll get some more paint on it. Just like that, and come back in here. Little things, back and forth. Little shape where you're kind of, you're thinner on this side, fatter on this side. Right, just like that. Just exactly like that. That's all you want, right there. That's the shape, right? That's the shape. Maybe one inch over here, teeny tiny bit over here. Slide it straight, not pushing it so hard that we ruin all those little uh, different colors in there, right? We've got all of our little differences in here from the light to the dark to the light, that's exactly what you wanna have, right there. Right? Now we're gonna take our little bit of white on our fan brush, you can go to a smaller fan brush now. Little fan brush, little bit of white, we come in here and make our little mustache, right? So it's gotta come down and up, and then down again. That's our mustache shape right there. That's the shape that you wanna have, and then fill in a little area in between with a little bit, right? So you still have light, dark, light, dark, light. All we're doing is adding little layers here and there, slide this guy back to the side just a little bit, that's all you need. <laughs> little teeniest little details back there because that's not our, our focal point. I mean, there's tons to focus on in this painting, but that's not our focal point back there, right? Not at all. Now, here comes the fun part. Guys, who's ready for a big old monster crashing wave onto the sand? It's gonna be amazing. Who's ready to see it? You gotta tell me in the comments if you're ready to see it. Say, I'm ready, Josh. Show us how, Josh. Teach us, Josh. Me, Cosmic Lighthouse says waves. <laughs> Burning in the sky, astral moonlit tides. You guys are coming up with some good titles already. Ready to see some waves on Saturday sessions with Paint with Josh. Oh my goodness, it's such a great time. Always awesome to see you guys too, I love ya. All right, we're gonna come in here like this. Let's say you have to have your peak, right? And then your next peak is your big wave. So. Leave maybe about the same distance right in there, and let's say our eyeball for our wave, be about right here. And that way we have that little bit of space we can feed back, and then over the eye is where you come up, and then you start to crash, right? So you grab it, you start to rotate, 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 rotate. All right, we came up at the tip top of our horizon, even peaked over it a little bit, which pushes our horizon back, and then we're gonna rotate our brush as we were coming down like this, Right? And turning and turning and turning. As you see, that little bit back here is connected to this guy. Just like that. Slide him back. Hello, what was that? What was that? Cha-ching, baby! Who got, uh, who got what is the question? Oh, we got, uh, uh, from David, got this purple seascape that's out in the hallway. I'll have to get it in a minute and, uh, and show you what it looks like, the one that he just got. It's really cool. All right, okay, we're gonna take this guy back, and like I said, you have to have a place to fill it back into, right? So, with the corner, we're gonna start flicking it back to that last little darkness, right? And that last little darkness, if we can retain that little bit, it'll look like the shadow of that next little bit of water as it's coming in. So, little things, right? Look at that, oh, the little shadow, it's, it's just projecting. It's projecting that little shadow across We'll go out like this, start going over to the side, just like a clock does, all right? And then whew, our wave's gonna come down just like that, guys. And we can even have a little bit of different color off to the side. You're like, what are you doing? 
This doesn't look like a wave at all, right? I know. I'd like to piece it together and show you guys that maybe like right down in here, we're going to have a little bit of foam <laughs> and show you how you have to kind of space stuff out, right? If you space it out correctly, then your wave will always take the correct shape. If you run out of space, then you have to adjust, right? So we're gonna come in here, load up our paint again. And as I was saying, we had our bit that was rotating down and you can see the angle of my brush is this way, right? Now I'm gonna turn it so the brush is hidden behind my hand and it's facing this way. You can see that dark little disconnect back here. It's also connected to that bit of line back there. So if we turn our brush and keep this little tiny V shape right here, right? By turning, touching, and then pulling out this way, all right? As much as you want, but as long as you keep that little dark V back there, that little V shape is gonna help sell your painting, guys. Dang, that's it right there. And then you start to fan it out. Fan it out, let it rotate out, and then we can come up and very lightly mix and blend. As long as we keep that little tiny V, that little bit, that's connected to that dark line back there. See it? Behind this next bit of wave. That's what you gotta do to keep your depth, guys. Okay, let's make our, let's take our eye of our wave right in here, with a little filter brush. We're gonna start to mix it down. We don't wanna lose our what? Our dark, what do we call it? Our dark separator, right? Don't wanna lose the dark separator, which is basically that little dark line that runs in between the two bits of color. And if we lose it, we've gotta go back and put it in which is a big pain in the butt. So try not to lose it. A little bit more brightness on our brush right here. We'll come back to our softer brush, our one inch brush. All right, you start to run out of space in a big old wave like this, especially on a smaller canvas. There we go, a little bit of light. Kind of pull out to the side, catching. It's not catching a lot of light because we're out here at night, right? Our sun's hidden by the, uh, by the, refl or by the eclipse. Very cool. So neat guys, so neat. Okay, like I told you, we'd have our little bit of foam right down in here, and that's gonna slide back and slide down, and then eventually meet up with that little line exactly how I told you. All right, take this guy over here, pull it off in the same direction, you can start to pull him down a little bit, right? This little angle right here, this depends a lot. It's another little S shape. Come up here like this, start to slide this guy down very softly over here. The further you go, the further you're going up to the side, eventually lining up with your little bits right there, right? Just like that. All it is is figuring out your angles and your shapes, right? And we're going to come in here and we're going to go back before we slide up. you got to pretend there's a little circle in there. And so we're sliding up, we're flipping it back, and we're trying not to let all of our color touch our bit of eye, right? We're trying to keep it dark back there. And then you can decide how far your wave comes out on the way down, right? Very cool. This is so simple. Come on, guys. So simple, right? Now, let's take our little bit of our dark colored brush. Like I said, I've always got like 14 fan brushes rocking and rolling. Now, we've only used red, crimson, black, and white. Four colors. Haven't touched the blue at all. So let's go into the black and crimson again. And I'd like to show you guys that you can do wonderful, wonderful things with very few colors and very few brushes and very little knowledge, right? I never went to art school. I don't know what the heck I'm doing up here. I just see through practice and through looking at my paintings and I go, okay, that one looked a little bit better because it had that dark line in between. Or this one looked better because of the rotation of the wave. And then I try to come back and show you guys how to fix stuff like that. So we're gonna take that dark color. We're gonna come up underneath the wave, right? Connecting to our little dark separation line. So all you need, and it can be wavy like that. It looks cool, it makes it look more like water. Now we're gonna ride this bit of shadows. We're gonna come down and cut off our bit of our rotating water, right? You don't have to follow along wherever your swipes were. You can literally cut it off anywhere you want, slap on the brush, slap it up here, go above your horizon and back over your wave, right? Just a little bit, and that helps hide it, gives it more depth, right? Smashing it in down here. All nasty, that's all you need, just like that, right? Now you gotta come back with your light colored brush and a little bit of liquid white on it, right? So I'm gonna load up the liquid white on it first and then go into my white paint over here, snake a little of our crimson and red too so we get that little pinkish color. Just like that, go back to the liquid white. Gotta make sure it's like nice and wet and if it's sloppy, then it's gonna come off of the brush a little easier, right? So we're gonna come up and now we're gonna ride on top. 
I'm not trying to cover the dark shadows. We have to save them, at least half. So we're coming up on top and we're gonna start slapping in and poof, as soon as we pop over the tip top of the wave, now you stay on the left side of the shadows and you ride them all the way down. All right, so you have light and you have the dark. I'm not trying to cover both. I'm not trying to cover it all. I'm trying to have a couple little bits and we're just slapping it into the canvas and pulling the brush away. Just like that, slapping it, pulling it away. Slap, pull away. As you get down here, that's it. Leave a little bit of mess. A couple little bits of darkness in between. Have it look just like that, right? Everybody can do that. You can make a mess. You can literally make a mess. I know you can. I'm gonna put some of my foam over on the side too. I know you can do it. You guys have done it before. Add a little bit of our darkness to that foam as well, just so it mixes up the same. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna come in here very lightly, very lightly, so light, right? And you have to judge how light you have to do it. Oh, just barely touching it with like one hair, just having it just disturb the paint because that liquid white wants to make it grow so fast. So you have to be so light with your pressure. Oh, oh man, that looks so cool. Wraps around the side over here, that's very neat. And be so light with your pressure, right? Then come in here very lightly at the very bottom of your cloud. Not the whole bit, just the very bottom. Very bottom bit. Slide it back. We can start to see our sand turning a little bit wet back there, right? So get that little bit of wetness. It's looking really cool. Again, the more you mix, the more it's gonna go dark. So be careful how you want it to look. And just like that, guys, that's looking really neat, if you ask me, right? Gonna come back a little bit of our just regular titanium white back in here and then slide our little bits back up maybe there's a little bit of foam in there come over here all based on our angles you can let it get bright you can let it blend in pulling it back pulling it forward what do you want yours to look like totally up to you and that's what I always say anyway totally up to you what yours looks like and maybe take this guy and go off the back those same angles Right, this one was flying off that side, and we've got our bit off in the back, just like that. So we've got our whole seascape along the side, too. With just a couple little bits, and then we're literally going to pull it down in those same directional swipes and have it match up. Take this guy over here, very lightly, start to make him soft. These guys back there start to make them soft, but they're going to want to grow. Don't let that white touch the other bit of white. you got to leave our dark separator in there. All right, come along here, swipe it down. To drag that top color down in a rounded motion to end up you know, back here. Now you've got this little lip with a bunch of different little angles happening in our water right here. So we slide down, pull it down, pull it down, get this soft little thing. Don't try to cover up all of our details, right? Very cool. All depends on the angle that we're pulling with these brushes. Depends on our what our wave is gonna look like, right? Very neat. Guys, that looks wicked. It's like, comes up to a peak right there. It's gonna rotate over, get all this stuff happening. And then we're gonna come in with a little bit of just pure titanium white, and maybe a little bit of our crimson too. A little pinky, a little pinky, a little, little pinky. <laughs> right in here, right right on the brush. I'm gonna come underneath about a quarter inch. Quarter inch underneath that white, right? We'll stay up in here. You see how it's rising? I wonder why, because we're trying to stay a quarter inch underneath that white. Sometimes a half inch, Josh doesn't know how to measure. There we go, there we go, bam, just like that. A little bit of softness, right? We're gonna come back with our two inch brush that we used initially to cover the entire canvas with, then we washed it and we let it dry. All right, gonna start to pull down hard, but leave that little dang dark line. If you don't leave it, oh, you're gonna be so upset. You'll be so upset with me. You'll be like, Josh, my sand doesn't look like sand, you're a fibber. And I go, no, 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 it does but you forgot your little dark line back there, right? So we pull away from the wave first, and we slide it out away first, right? All based on our pressure. Then you start to slide it in, and that's how you shrink your little separator until you want it to be as small as you want it to be. Just with our pressure, slide it back in, and now it looks like our wave sat up and it can slide across the sand just like that. Very, very cool. You guys, man, that's neat. Should we put a little rock in there? Let's put a little rock in. Just a little rock, right? Normally I would have figured somebody would have got this one by now, but it looks like it's still available if you go over into my shop and uh, search for number 788. That's this painting right here. You'll be able to get it at 40% off, free worldwide shipping. It's gonna be fantastic. Come up underneath our little bit right there. Perfect. Pull this guy down. 
couple little rocks here and there and everywhere. And you gotta have them come down at this angle, right? Go from point, point. We had our point, 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 point. <laughs> over here, over there, and over there. Pull down on this guy, start sliding him out. Maybe sliding him back. I don't want it to grow too far. There we go. Little things, little different angles. And then you decide what it looks like, how far it goes out, what happens to it with our water, this, that, and the other, when we finally come back to put our water in, right? If we pull down on this guy, it'll add a little bit of his shadow to our wet sand back here. Just like that. Very cool, guys. I like it. All right, we'll have to come back in and brighten this guy up a little bit with our white. We got a little too dark with that extra bit of darkness in there. And that's what's so cool. You can always come back, do different things, brighten it back up, All right, slide it across, change what you want it to look like, just like that. So simple, guys. Woo! Man, this one's looking good. So let's take our little bit of rock, and we don't even need a palette knife. Let's just get our, our little bit of our white and our red and crimsony color. Maybe we'll come back in here. Just little bits hanging off of this guy. Just little things, right? Kind of touching it and pulling away very lightly just to have it drag down little differences different directions, different ways, and then we'll go back with our brush and see if we can just add a couple little highlights. Oh yeah, see how it just instantly blends down? Just instantly leaving little teeny tiny things. Uh, maybe it's not bright enough. Let's get our palette knife out, guys. Sometimes we try to do it with minimal tools. Sometimes you just need a palette knife. It's just gonna have to be like that. Let's get a little of our red and crimson and black. Come over here, add our deeper, darker shadows. It's like a very dark purpley color. A little bit off the side. You gotta have our rock off the off the back, of course. Bam, just like that. Now a little teeny tiny brightness in different areas, and that pinky color. Let me slide it down. Little bits, all depends on the amount of color on our brush, or our knife anyway. Right? The amount of paint, the amount of practice we've had at doing it. How many times have you tried doing this? How many times has it worked? How many times has it not? There we go. A couple little brighter bits. Slide it down. Little things, little dark areas too though. You don't want to have it be too crazy, right? If it's too nuts, then it doesn't look natural. It doesn't look right if it doesn't, if you don't have those deep dark areas. So let's come back in here. A little bit of our black and crimson mixed together. Bring a little bit more darkness, a couple more shadows. It blend there we go there you go now you get this crazy looking thing out there just like that it even might look neat if we put it up a little bit higher there we go we can adjust what we want it to look like just by adding a little bit of paint coming back in a little bit of difference in there maybe that's too much red scrape some of that up a little bit of difference in color dull our red down a little bit Pull it off different ways, different things. You gotta remember the rocks are like, it's a, it's, a, it's a bunch of piled up stuff all stacked on itself. It's not just one straight thing that works, you know what I mean? Very cool. Very cool, you guys. Limited colors, limited tools. Very, very cool little painting. Dig it, I dig it. In here very lightly guys very lightly see that start to pull it so light oh my goodness if you do it too hard it's really gonna pull it in the wrong way there we go slide our bit of color around pulling it up from the, the bottom however you want yours to look very 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 light little pressure though that's all you gotta have light little bit of pressure is all we want to see Cool like that. Now let's come in with our last little bit. Grab a little bit of that liquidy whitish paint. And then we came in around the edge of our, our little rocky guy like this. We'll come up here, grab a little bit more. Just help slide it back. Help it mesh in. It's climbing up our own little rock. And then we're sliding it down and towards the wave. We're trying to keep that dark separator. Don't lose it. Right, we just added some paint in there, so don't lose that dark separation. Very cool. And then this stuff, the more you slide it, the more soft it's going to get. Bringing 
more it'll blend away. So cool. So cool. Get that little hair out of there. Perfect. Get out of there. Ha ha ha. All right, it seems like we got some people in the Etsy store maybe trying to favorite this painting, maybe gonna buy it, who knows? Who knows? Remember guys, if you buy a portal painting, you get to add your family inside the portal. I'm gonna be out in the main scene with my family out here flying through the scene, my little birdies, and uh, you guys get to add your family to the painting as well. No other artist is doing that. They're not adding you to the painting as part of their signature, except for Paint With Josh, right? Old Paint With Josh knows what's up. How cool would it be if you were immortalized inside of a painting with me forever, right? Forever. So if you buy this one during the live show, you get your family added to it, your little family of birds, or you and your pets, however many we can fit on the canvas, right? However many we can fit. Let's see. We're gonna come back over here, clean off some of these brushes. We're gonna add in our signature. It's gonna be fantastic. Man, this wave turned out really good, you guys. <laughs> I like this one. I like this one. Woo! Show! This one looks nice. Oh, yeah, a little bit more of our crimsony dark texture up in here. That black crimson. Yeah, a little bit darker. There we go. What's going on in the Etsy store over here, guys? Oh, we're looking at prints. Somebody's looking at prints. All right, remember, if you want to get this painting, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can buy this painting, and if you buy it during the live show, you can add your family to it as well, which is always fun. And what that means, it means you can add your family of birds. You guys know my signature, my three birds. And your family of birds can accompany my family of birds throughout this scene forever and ever and ever, and it's going to be fantastic. This over here, get this one cleaned off. Woo, almost fell over. There we go. There we go, guys. Right, got two more brushes to clean, and then we're gonna name this sucker. So start coming up with a name. And if the person who buys it, if it gets purchased, they get to choose the name. Right, they may need some help. They may have a name of their own already picked out, but they may need your help choosing a new name. So. Start to name this painting in the comments. What would you call it? Blood red tides of an, of an eclipse moonlit sea. I don't know. <laughs> I've named too many paintings, guys. I've named way too many paintings to name this one now. Because I have no idea what to call it. So you guys got to help me come up with a title. While 18 notifications, 19 notifications, 20 notifications in Etsy. My goodness. Charlene is just over there favoriting every print that we have. Just every one. All right, let's go like this. Let's go over here. Start coming up with a name, guys. We're about to sign it right now. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's add our little bird family. And when we do that, we take our liquid white and a little bit of our lighter color. In this case, it's sort of that pinky, uh, pinkish reddish color that we've been working with. And we're gonna take our family in here. Go flying through the scene, just like that. That's what, that's what I, if you guys hear that Etsy noise, that's what I deal with all day long. I get sounds like that all day, people in the store. It makes me happy. It makes me happy when people are in the store. So, these birds represent myself, London, and our daughter, Bailey, and they go into every single painting. They're fantastic. And if you buy this painting right now during the live show, your family can get in there as well. And you guys can be flying through the scene up here in the clouds. It's gonna be wicked cool. Wicked cool, if you ask me. You know, I'm, I'm sort of biased, I guess, but if you ask me, it'd be wicked cool. All right, we're gonna come over here, right down in the dark part of our sand. Throw our little signature down in here. Boop, now it's time to name the painting, guys. What are we gonna name it? Come up with a name in the comments, let me know. We're gonna flip it around and, and name the, the thing and decide. So what do we got for names? Red Sea, Red Sea. Red Sea, everyone thinks we should just call it Red Sea. Eye of the Sea, Rise of the Tides. Uh, thank you, Renee, I love your comment over there. The Eclipse, Devil's Dream. Oh, Devil's Dream, I like that. Red Portal Falls, Blood Moon Tides. 
Ooh, Cosmic Lighthouse, Blood Moon Tides. Blood Red Falls, Red Skies at Night. Blood Runneth Over, oh, I love Runneth. Oh, I love Runneth. <laughs> Blood Runneth Over. Ooh, I don't know, I like that. Crimson Portal, Sailor's Delight. Crimson Tides, Gemini Tunnel, Fathom's Eclipse. That's, that's cool. Garnet Rose Moon, Crimson's Portal over on Facebook. Got anybody on YouTube that wanna? Crimson Tide from Mark Anderson over there on YouTube. Let's see, Heaven and Earth, Portal of the Red Sea, Blood Moon Falls. <laughs> Crimson Runneth. I like Runneth. I don't know why, that you just put like a TH at the end of Run. Uh, Blood Moon Falls. Man, you guys just drop them in so quick. Blood Moon Runneth Over, yes. <laughs> Pour Into Me, Sangria Flow. Ooh, I like Sangria Flows. Eclipse of the Red Giant, I like that one too. Red Skies at Night, that one's nice too. Red Sea Kryptonite, Hell's Paradise. Oh, I like Hell's Paradise as well. Or the Devil's Paradise. <laughs> Devil's Beach, something like that. All right, we did, one of my title, one of my, uh, my paintings is called The Devil's Tide already, so we can't use The Devil's Tide. But we could use The Devil's Beach. Blood Moon Rising. I like Blood Moon Falls, or the Blood Moon Runneth Over one, whoever said that. Crimson Falls. I know uh, Cosmic Lighthouse put a good one out. Sailor's Delight, Red Skies at Night. I like that. Devil's Coast. Ooh, I like the Devil's Coast. The Devil's Coast. Satan runneth over. I don't think I'd get many people to buy it if I titled it Satan anything. The Devil's Waves, Twisted Sunrise, Crimson Cascade. Ooh, Crimson Cascade. I like that. Oh, man. There's just so many good ones, guys. The Devil's Gate, ooh. Dawn of Crimson Tides, I like that one as well. Blood Moon Portal over here on Facebook. You guys are just rocking it. Hell's Gate, Garnet Rose Moon, Splash of Red, Devil's Retirement, yes. This is where, this is where Satan goes for the, uh, when he's retired, he goes on vacation. Oh, that's really cool. Escape Through the Portal. Ooh, what about, uh, oh man. Angel's Gate, Blood Vision. Eclipse of Reality, I like that one too. To a vote. Let's see, Drop of the Sea. There's so many now, I can't even scroll up to where it was. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Devil's Delight, I like that. Let's see. Fireball Nights, I like that one too. All right, I, I, I can't get, I mean, I, I was hoping somebody would buy it and then they could get, they could pick the name because I, I can't choose. There's way too many good names in here, guys. Way too many names for, for old Paint with Josh to choose. Just way too many. So this painting's only 187.80, by the way. It's only 187.80 American, free shipping around the world. Let's see, Crimson's Emblem, Crimson Cascades, Rise of the Red Sea. Where Heaven and Hell Meet. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Where Heaven and Hell Meet, huh? Burning in the Skies, Moon Escape. Let's see, Sailor's, see, I like that too. That one keeps coming up. Sailor's Delight, Red Skies at Night. Ooh, Ascension. Is that how you spell ascension, though? Ascension. I like that. I like that. Doom's Circle. Hmm. I know. I keep seeing Blood Moon Falls. I really like that one. Blood Moon Falls. Devil's Tears Floweth Over. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. This is number 788. Number 788, and it's 187.80 with free worldwide shipping. It's a 12 by 24 professional series canvas. You get the, the big sides on the end. Portals of Sacrifice, Blood Moon Falls is a great title. I, Heavenly Falls, Demonic Dream. Ooh, yeah, demonic something. Yeah, 788, let's see. Bleeding Heavens, Mary's Blood, Memorial of Sailors, Waves, Falls. 
Crimson, is, oh, somebody said on Facebook, I'm partial to anything with Crimson in the title because that's my daughter's name. That's super cute. I like where heaven and hell meet as well. Let's see. Sailor's delight is an ancient rhyme. Let's see. What was that? Demonic passion. Ooh. Home of the fallen. Home of the fallen. Let's see. I like it. I like it. Demonic blood moon rising. Let's see. Yeah, this one. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Devil's tears floweth over. Is the cool is the coolest name you think? Hmm. Crimson Paradise, Crimson Eclipse. Thank you, Brianna. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It turned out really good. And it's taken it's taken longer to name it than it is to uh, to have painted it. Devil's Heaven. I like that. Crimson. Ooh, okay. I found one. I found one. I got it. I got it. Remy Rose777 has 85 followers right now. She's about to have 86. Because Paint with Josh follows you now. And the title's gonna be Crimson's Dreams. Right? Crimson Dreams. I like that. Because it is like a dream world. That's what I dream about anyway. That's why it comes out onto my canvas. So everybody go follow her. She gets to name the painting. Crimson Dreams. Turned out fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's always hard to sign these ones because it's such a small space. And then it's got these big, thick things as well. There we go. Paint with Josh, original number 788. Which is just insane how many paintings we've done. Let's come over here. Crimson Dreams. That's what I like. Bam. All right, we painted this one on 527.23. And all of you guys are going to go over to paintwithjosh.com. Check out the schedule. See when we go live, when our live schedule is. It's posted over there on paintwithjosh.com. And then from paintwithjosh.com, you can go to the store. You can go to the YouTube page, the Facebook page, the TikTok page, the Instagram page, everywhere, right? All over the place. Everywhere that you guys are, I am also. So, just like that, got our gorgeous little painting, Crimson Dreams. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Crimson Dreams. Excellent. Okay, guys. Well, let's say goodbye to uh, at least the YouTube camera. It's been going for way too long. So, I love you guys on YouTube. Take care. Have the rest of a good day. And pow! I gotta turn one of these off at least. My goodness. All right, then we'll do our wrap-up show over here on uh, on TikTok.